I'd like to take another look at the first eight measures of Over the Rainbow. But this time, I've altered a few of the chords. I'd like to analyze this version with Roman numerals as well. And let's start back at the beginning. And the start of this will go pretty quickly because it's, it's actually not so different than what we just did. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to start with my C major chord at the beginning. And that is Roman numeral 1. Then I go to A minor, and that's right here. That's my sixth chord. Then my E minor, that's my three chord. And then the D minor chord, that's the two chord. This is all the same. Then G major, which is my five chord. And then the E minor, which you already said is the three chord. And then after the E minor, this is the first alteration. Now I have an A major chord. When I, when I first gave this to us, this was an A minor chord. But I've changed this to an A major chord, which is fine. But there isn't an A major chord in the key of C. So this is the first time that I'm adding an accord that isn't directly in the key. All these other chords that we've made, we can make with the seven notes of the major scale. But we know already that when we make melodies, we don't necessarily have to stick with the seven notes of the major scale. We can bring in chromatic notes, um, sharps and flats and, and notes from outside of the key. And we can do the same thing with chords as well. So some of these chords that I've stuck in here are going to be chords that come from outside of the key. Now this one is pretty close. So I know that my A minor chord, the A minor chord, is going to be a six chord. We know that that's the chord, A minor is the chord that's built on the, the triad that's built on the sixth scale degree. But what about A major? Well, what's interesting is A major is also built on the sixth scale degree, isn't it? But I've changed the quality of the chord. Now, there are several ways that you may indicate this with the Roman numeral, numeral, but here's the way that I'm going to do it, which is for what we're doing, maybe the easiest way to do it. We know that I've written the major chords in capital Roman numerals and the minor chords in lowercase Roman numerals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my lowercase Roman numeral 6 to an uppercase Roman numeral 6 to indicate that I've changed the quality of the chord from minor to major. So instead of being as it was in the previous example, this chord progression at the top was E minor, A minor, in parentheses, that's what we used to have, and then Roman numerals were 3, and then lowercase 6. Now I'm going to go from Roman numeral 3 to uppercase Roman numeral 6 to show that I'm going from that E minor to the A major. Now this is, I'll, I'll warn you, this is not the only way to do it, and there are some other more sophisticated ways um, that you can sometimes indicate the change in the quality of one of the notes of the chord. Um, but I don't want to get into those here just yet and to, to make things too complicated. So let's keep going because there are a couple of other uh, chords that I'd like to take a look at. And I'm going to actually stop right here. So let me go to the next chord, which is a D minor chord. And we know D minor is a chord that we recognize. That is the two chord. 
So D minor is the two, and then I've got a B flat major chord. Now this is a problem on several fronts because not only is the B flat major chord not one of the seven chords that we can make in the key of C, we don't even have a B flat in the key of C. So there are a couple of alterations that we're going to have to make. The first alteration is this. Remember how when we were talking about scale degrees, we said if B is scale degree number 7, then B flat is going to be the flat 7th scale degree, right? Or the lowered 7th scale degree. Well, we're going to do the same thing with the root of this chord. Since the root of the chord is built on not the 7th scale degree, which is B, but on the flat 7th scale degree, which is B flat, we're going to put that flat symbol in front of, I'm going to do that right here, we're going to put that flat, flat symbol uh, right in front of, no, actually I'll do it right here, the chord, the flat 7, to show that our root is no longer on the 7th scale degree, but our root is now on the flat 7th scale degree, B flat. But we have to make another change as well, because notice, usually, the, the 7 chord is a diminished chord, which is a minor 3rd followed by a minor 3rd. And in fact, what we have here is a B flat major chord. So we're going to have to change not just the root note of this chord by indicating the flat 7, but we're going to have to change the quality of this chord from the diminished to a major. So I'm going to get rid of my little uh, degree symbol that I use for diminished, and I'm going to make this 7 chord that I had in lowercase into an uppercase 7 to show that this is now going to be a major chord. The quality is going to be major instead of minor or diminished. So what I'm going to put here is 2 to a flat uppercase Roman numeral 7 chord. Then we're going to continue on. Let me just move us over here. Two E minor, which we know is the three chord. To A minor, which we know is the six chord. And these are all chords that I can make inside of or within the, the key of C major. Then D, which is the two, D minor, which is the two chord. To the five chord, which is G, to C, which is one. So we absolutely can use not just notes, but entire chords that exist outside of the scale, but when we analyze them in, in, in Roman numerals, we need to make the alterations to show precisely what that, what that change has been. Now, this is going to be really important, not just for analyzing and trying to understand the chord progression, although that's a really important thing in and of itself, but we're going to use this method of analysis to, to work on our skill to move chord progressions from one key to another key, to transpose chord progressions from one key to another key. And we'll have a whole zi uh, video series coming up on that. But this is one of the reasons that we want to be really precise in accounting for every single quality and every single root, whether it's in the scale or not.